I've got some interesting textured sounds that I've molded and sculpted that originated from some presets, and I want to save them as my own. Now, I can close and reopen this project, and all the sounds will be here, and that's fine, but what if I want to use these presets I've created on another machine? Or maybe I want to share the sounds with other users. Well, there's a couple of different ways of approaching this. First thing, when we go to save our sounds, we're prompted to create a new pack. And we can do it there, or we can create a pack on our own manually in the browser. In this user area, we click on this ellipses, and I'm going to go create pack. And we see it now here in the user area, albeit with the name truncated slightly. And now when I go to save my customized patch, we're going to see that pack appear here. So I can save it to this pack. So let me rename this. Now I can, of course, change any of these attributes that I want. I think I'll leave it like that for now, and I'll make a note for my own. And I'm going to hit save. And of course, we see the new name there now. And I can jump to my next sound now, which is, again, another customized sound. My pack is still there, and I'm going to save this as. And again, to my new pack, and I'll customize the name. And let me go through these remaining sounds, save them here, and I'll be right back. Packs and the information corresponding to their sounds are stored as files in a packs folder on your hard drive. And we can get to it by clicking on this ellipses icon in the browser and show packs folder. Now on the hard drive, it's in your user folder, library, application support, applied acoustic systems, ultra analog VA3, packs, and then in here, we see the custom pack that I created and here's some information on it. Now, all the pack file names follow the same format and that consists of the pack name followed by the VA3 pack extension. And these files are what are used for backing up or exchanging sounds with other users. Let's go back and take a look at how we can further manage the pack information from within Ultra Analog VA3. Now, I'm gonna click on the pack here and we can see these sounds that are now associated with this pack. And we have an ellipses icon here that allows us to rename the pack, for example, or I can duplicate it where I'm prompted to enter a new name. And I can delete it. I can show packs folder in the finder, which is what we just looked at. And let's say I decide, you know what? I don't need it. I'm going to delete it. I don't like it after all. And then I realize, uh-oh, I made a mistake. I want to get that back. All is not lost. When a pack is deleted, it disappears from the browser and its entire content is not available anymore. But a safety copy of it is created by Ultra Analog VA3, so it's always possible to recover it once it's been deleted. I'm going to click here and go Show Packs Folder, and we see that it's no longer there anymore. However, there's a folder right underneath here in the same directory called Private. And in here, we have a Packs subfolder, and then Deleted. And now we can see the pack that I just deleted here. So I can easily copy this to my clipboard, go back to my packs directory over there, paste it in, and now it should appear back inside Ultra Analog VA3. And there it is with all my sounds intact. So that pack file is what you want to back up or copy to another computer or send to another user. And it's important that when you're copying and pasting it into the destination directory, that there doesn't already exist a pack with the same name, otherwise it'll be overwritten. Backing up and sharing layers works very similarly. When we're on the editor page, we have access to the individual layers and we click on the ellipses icon and go to the load function. And we'll see at the bottom any user layers that you may have saved. For example, here's one from this session. And I can go show files and we'll see that it's located in the same directory, user, library, application support, applied acoustic systems, ultra analog VA3. In layers, we now have the user layer, and this is what we copy and back up and paste into the destination layers folder. And again, same warning, if there's something with the same name, it's gonna be overwritten when you paste it in. Converting existing Ultra Analog VA2 user banks to VA3 is a simple matter of copying and pasting them 
in either the Mac OS Finder or Windows Explorer. Open up VA2 and click the Manage button. Then click the Show Files button at the bottom of the Manager window. And this will show the ultra analog VA2 sound pack files in the Finder or in Explorer on Windows. Copy these to the clipboard, then locate to analog VA3's directory like you see here in the background and simply paste it in from your computer clipboard. With these few simple tips in mind, you can safely back up and transport your custom presets between multiple systems.